Okay, today we have the continuation of the uh, Dietrich Instructional Sword and Shield video series. Um, for the rest of the series, I'm actually going to fight uh, shield leg forward, like I know most of you do, so that you can you know, use the footwork principles um, a little more uh, appropriately. You know, it's a lot, it's like a whole lot different when I'm fighting with my sword leg forward lead. So at any rate, uh, the first thing we're going to go over today is the Moline. Now, I don't need to teach you the flat snap. Um, you, know, you can learn that at your local practice. Your flat snap, you know, just comes at a flat trajectory, you know, right at the target's temple. Um, and the block for a flat snap is a pretty simple one. Your opponent's going to, you know, just going to do a quick heel punch like that. Um, however, today we're actually going to learn what's called the Moline. Um, which is instead of the flat trajectory, the sword tip describes a big arc overhead and comes down into its target. So instead of flat snap, we're showing the Moline. It looks like a very similar shot, but the angle is quite different. So the Moline is best done from the hanging guard. So from here, your right hand comes across your face to the other side and your sword tip arcs in. This will actually come above and behind the blocking shield and pez the guy right in the face all the time. Okay? So, you're throwing. Watch how you get the same twist of the hips that you get from the flat snap, just a different angle. Now, the Moline can also be used, an offside Moline is a dropping shot like that. I like to bait the left leg. When the opponent goes for it, the shield drops. And then that offside Moline cracks right on in to the face, or to the sword arm, where the sword arm would be if my pal had a sword arm, right? So, using that Moline, uh, adding that into your repertoire is to be really useful. You can practice it with a partner. You throw the Moline, they block it, then they throw it, and you block it, which chambers you to your next one. You can also do it in twos. Block, 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 block. So that's a really good one that you can practice at home or with a partner. Um, practice it a lot on the pal until it's natural. So that's all for today. Uh, next time we'll work on the thrust to the Moline and the thrust to the leg wrap. So stay tuned for the next one.